So uh, these are of what order? All of these are in the ascending order. If I want, I can change these to descending order. Now, out here, we can see on the window, the default sort order is ascending. I can change this to descending. Okay. And uh, this order is what ascending. If I click on this, it becomes descending. Okay. So that depends what you really want and how you want to get it set. Uh, default sort order, we are making it descending. And I click apply and I click OK. So uh, when I double click on this, this is how it looks like. And now I click on preview. So we can see here earlier the date was different and now the date is different. Why? Because it's in the descending order, it's not in the ascending order. So I click OK. Apply. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. Okay. So suppose if I click on, uh, I select only this particular node, sort node, and I right click on it and I click run from here. There is a chance that it could be, yeah, there are no executable nodes again. That's why. So let us come here on the banking data and click run from here. There are no executable nodes such as export, output, or modeling node for your flow. So this, this will happen because we are still at very initial stages of learning, learning this. But uh, suppose if you want to have an output of what? Uh, statistics, suppose if I'm selecting statistics, so I'm bringing it over here and I'm connecting this sort out here from, uh, okay. Now I'm selecting this entire stream, okay. This is called as this entire combination of nodes that I have prepared over here is called as a stream. I'm right clicking on this. I scroll down here and click on run from here. So no fields selected selected in statistics node. Of course, they have not been selected. So I'll come here and I'll select which of them do you want to. So I'm selecting high price. Apply. Okay. So I'm examining the high price as the I, I want the uh, high price examined for following set of statistics. Okay. And I click apply and I click OK. Now you can see here that is a run button here as well. You can see run is here as well. Because if I click run here, this is the output it will generate. Of course, I have not yet come to all this, but uh, I just want to show this to you all on the first hand basis so that you all understand what is going to happen and how things will unclog and unfold. So uh, fine, I close this window, okay. And see what has happened is now that output has been generated, it will be reflected over here. So you can see the statistics of high price. If I double click on this, this is the window that opens up. Okay, uh, this is like, you know, uh, we are still at a very nascent stage in terms of understanding the different nodes. So but some of these points you'll, uh, you'll will need to understand how things are getting like, you know, uh, used and operated. So we used the sort node on the source node so that we could generate this output. So this is the source node. This is the record ops, ops node. And this is the output node. So when you prepare a stream, again, listen carefully. When you prepare a stream, it will be a combination of different kinds of nodes that are available over here on this particular node palette. Okay, so preparing for the preparing this particular stream, I used a source node, which is of the Excel format. I thereafter implemented record ops node out here, which is helping me sort the given data of the source node. And then thereafter, I generated the output statistics on the sorted data of the source node, which gave me this particular output. So uh, this is one such sort node that I used. If I want, I can also use merge or append. So let, let us not, uh, we can select merge and append. So let us do one thing. Let us go back to source. I'll click on Excel. I click on this. Uh, I bring what? I'm bringing this open, apply. OK. So fine. The, we have imported another file over here. And let us also import a third file here. So again, I come on the source node here, which is already active. I click on Excel, I bring it here. I browse for the given file. I'm selecting another file. I click open here, I click apply, I click OK. Now, what I'll do is I'll merge both these files. Okay. 
So uh, I go on record ops, then I come on merge. I drag and drop it over here. I connect both of these with merge. So I select left click on this Asian Paints Excel file. I right click on that, select connect. I click on merger Paints Excel file on a uh, file node. That is a source node. I right click on it, scroll up and select connect. And I bring it here and click merge. And then after this merge, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, click run from here. And most likely it will throw an error. Yes, because there are no executable nodes. OK. And then again, um, I'll go to the output. I'll select a table as an output here, I suppose. And uh, again, click on merge, click on connect, connect it with the table. OK, so this particular stream is now ready. So now what I'll do is I'll click on merge. I'll select run from here. Again, there are duplicate fields in terms of the data that has been provided. So some errors will pop, of course, because you've not worked on the on this particular command yet. So let's right click on it, click edit. Okay. Now, uh, what do we do? Merge order. They have given us the order. Okay. So we merge on what basis? On basis of key. So fine. If you want, what are the keys to merge it? Okay. Which of them, which of these columns do you want to merge? Let us say a uh, low prices. We also want to merge um, high prices. And let us say number of trades and number of shares. Okay. And then I click apply and I click OK. And then I right click on this and let's run it and see what will come here. Again, there are errors that will pop up. The reason is because uh, we have not really prepared the data for it to be merged. Okay, so now let us come here. Let us click run from here. See again, the same errors will come up. Of course, we have not prepared any data for this yet on the merge node that we have used. And uh, for the table, so what do we see here on the table? Well, you can see nothing for now except that these are the formats. These are the fields that are available over here. So if you click apply and click run again, there are issues. What are the issues? Duplicate field name date. So these are the uh, same um, field names that we have used. So we need to change the field names. And all. So that is part of the overall data preparation. We have not done that. So that's okay. When it, we'll come to that a little later. See out here we can see auto data preparation. Okay. So if I suppose, suppose if I bring it over here, I click and I click delete. Let us come bring it here and see if this will work. So I click connect. And now let us run data preparation and see. Yes, there are no executable nodes again. So so what I've done here is uh, we are generating errors in merge. So I'm trying auto data preparation a node here and i'm trying to see if this is going to be useful so let's right click and run it from here ah see now again there are the same errors which are coming up over here of course so the data preparation has not been done and what happens here balance speed and accuracy optimize so these are the settings that are available over here they have predefined rules no use custom rules so let us say Suppose we say high price and what are the inputs for the high price? Let's select high price, apply, okay. Then I select, oops. Okay, uh, analyze data. Okay, when we analyze the data, it is showing up an error again. Can we apply, apply and click okay. What happens if you click on preview? Yeah, again, it is throwing up an error. Of course, this will come up because um, we have not really worked on the data preparation. But the objective for me here is to show you all that, um, wait, uh, the model is not available. Of course, it is not available. No, it's there any settings. But what do we want to understand here is that we can we will be using these data. Wait, uh, field ops, yeah. Uh, we are using these nodes across the different 
node across the node palettes these are the different nodes and we are selecting a combination of these nodes to run and execute an output and that is what the objective is for today at least so then like you know you all understand what is happening don't worry about the errors and everything that is coming up because uh, that is not what we are looking at right now next so fine this is these were some of the nodes that we went through of course not all of them were as useful let us delete this and let's see if we run this again output field is not specified as an uh, input field no field selected in the statistics node so these are the errors so again what is most important is the messages that come over here these messages should be taken seriously and um, such changes should be made in the uh, nodes that we are having so in the output of whichever nodes that we have. So out here, output field, high price is also specified as an input field. So let's come back here. So out here. Now, uh, what is the output field that we have here? Okay, we don't have here. As an input field, where is it provided? No fields are selected in statistics mode. Okay, so let's come here. Ah, okay, so out here we have this as high price apply. Okay, so this is what we have here. Apply. Okay, now let's see if it will run. Ah, now there is one more. That error is now resolved. This error is not resolved. Output field. High price also specified as an input field. So where is it? Yeah, okay, out here it's provided. It's fine. Let's click on this and click edit. Ah, see now this is the target output pra, pra, uh, output uh, field. So I'm not select. I'm selecting none over here. Okay. And I click okay. Now let's see if this will run. It's throwing the same error because I have not saved it over here. Apply and I click OK. Now let's see if it will run. Yes, now you can see it's running in the greens that you saw here. Okay, so there are some errors that have like come up. Field selected in statistics nodes are unavailable, and then this execution was interrupted and all. So uh, yes, uh, meaning the point, the problem is, of course, some of there are some uh, settings that we are still to make in this particular stream, but the error is dominantly in this particular node. So uh, this all can be looked upon. So that is no problem. We are examining what high price? Yes, we are examining high price only. But again, uh, as I discussed and like I mentioned earlier, uh, this is how you will be creating a stream, which is a combination of different uh, nodes. So again, we were here on the record ops. We selected sort earlier that there are we selected merge node. We can also select some other kind of node and we can add to this. Uh, canvas and create another stream. We can add these nodes and create the streams. So that is the objective of it. Now, uh, so we are done with sources. We are also done with record ops. Now we'll move on to the field ops. So what, what are these? These are the different field ops nodes that are available to us. We can select transpose. We can also select uh, anonymize, we can reclassify, we can derive, we, we can add filler, we can add filter. So, suppose if you add filter over here, uh, and I come here, right click, click connect supposedly. Let's click on filter. So, what do you want to filter it out? Okay, do you want to have which of these do you want to filter out? There are 13 of them available. So, I'm clicking on this. This has to be filtered out. This, I need open price, I don't need a VAP number of shares. This, this, this 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 and this so i need how many one two three and four these are the and let us also retain the date so i need only four of these fields here okay and i click apply and i click okay now suppose when i run this here right click and i click run from here 
statistics and okay now this is a problem here it is running this only as a default it's fine let's run on filter run from here yeah there are no executable nodes that's what it show us so uh after this filter let us add some output uh statistics again okay and uh, i'll connect this filter with the this particular statistics node and now let's see let's remove this this also i'm now simply running only this particular stream i have removed the other stream okay right click and let's run from here okay no fields are selected in the statistics node so uh, let's come here meanwhile let's do one thing let us click on filters and click Edit. so now what we have done here is we have taken only one two three four five columns okay only these five fields have been selected so let's preview it yes now that's what we are seeing here if you'll understand we had selected only five fields over here so only those five fields are showing up over here only those five fields are showing up over here so if you increase the field here suppose i remove this and i click apply and i click okay Okay, right click, click uh, edit, and then I click preview. So when earlier there were five, I have added one more WAP, WAP, as an additional field for filter, which I'm uh, removing the filter on it. And now I click preview. So in that preview, you should see WAP. See, we can see this field coming up over here. So uh, like this, you can uh, use different field ops also. You can read, uh, you can use uh, different field operations, uh, field ops nodes also, and make the changes to your given and the desired uh, source node, to your desired uh, source node data also. And uh, so this is what we have really. I I took you all with your uh, filters. I also wanted to take you all with your auto data prep. Let's click on auto, uh, drag it and put it over here and see what it shows up. Right click and connect. And uh, let's run this and see. Yeah, no more to slip in the statistics mode. Yeah, that, that error will come up over here. So let us do one thing. Let us remove this. I'm removing the filter also here. And don't worry, uh, even though I'm not saving anything out here, for y'all, we'll be doing a lot of repetitive work on dragging and dropping the nodes or importing the nodes and importing the data. So as we go along, y'all will understand it better. So there is nothing to be worried about. Even if I'm not able to save any data for you. Okay, let's run this and see what will it show up. There are executable nodes as always. So out here on the export, let us select um wait. An output, let us come and see. Uh let us have a table up here. Right click, connect. So I'm connecting the auto data prep node as a table. Now let's see. Click run. Right, so it's running here. Aha. See now, this is what they have generated for us. What have they generated here? We come and we bring it down here. It is showing us what? It is showing us the table with all the given set of columns. So, like you know, operation price, transform, transform. See, we can see everything is transformed. What does this transform mean, really? It is the auto data preparation that is work. See, you can see here there is a tick mark over here. Okay, right click on this and click run from here. Again, that's what it is showing up. So uh, this is how you use your auto data preparation node, which will uh, make the necessary changes. It deems fit uh, for the analysis. And uh, based on that, it will throw you an output. Now for this output that we have, suppose if I uh, attach statistics over here, okay, and I connect a table. Uh, no, that will not happen because table itself is also an output. So on this data prep, let's come here and let's uh, click connect, connecting it over here. And on the statistics, uh, which nodes do you want? I want close price apply. I want shares transform apply and high price apply. And I click OK. okay. I do not want any correlation settings. I'm simply uh, selecting two, three of them. These are the statistics that I want to generate. And I click apply. I click OK. And now when I click run from here, 
So this is running. Ah, see, now you can see that this is a table that was generated because we ran it over here. Okay, this is the output that was generated. This table is generated because of this node as an output node. And this particular output that is generated over here. Okay, that is because of this particular statistics output that we connected with auto data prep. So uh, this is what we learned today as far as today's session is concerned. Okay, uh, I'm not saving any of these data for y'all for today. But let us do one thing. Let us save all the data that we have here. Uh, because this file, maybe we'll use it for y'all as a reference file for day one. Okay. So I'm running this output. Actually, we have generated all these outputs for y'all. And this is part of only what for stream. Okay. Let's right click and save stream. I'm saving the stream as what? It's uh, called desktop. SPSS modular, no, not here. Live sessions, SPSS modular, day one. No, no, it's not day one, it's day two. And uh, stream one, uh, bank data. Okay, that's what I'm saving this as. Why are we saving this as bank data? Because, uh, yeah, that's what we have bank data and uh, also paints data. But anyway, let's save this, save it. So both these streams are part of this stream that we have here. And these are the outputs that we have generated. Now we'll save the entire file. So let's click Save. OK, our outputs, we have this. We have also saved the outputs by itself. It is saving this. Models are also saved. Wait, save models palette. Uh, select. Okay, um, day two, generated models day two. Let's click save it, keep it. And uh, then we also have what? We have models here. No, we don't have them. We have generated, saved the outputs and streams. Now let us do one thing. Let's quickly go on desktop and uh, see if we have all the ES. We have everything saved. These are the generated models. That was your promotion file. That is your data, which that's your STR file. That's the data that we have. So once you run uh, these in uh, IBM SPSS modeler, then you should be able to open this file that we are seeing here. Oops, not this. The stream is that we are seeing here. And uh, we have, like, you know, used different nodes, typically source, record ops, field ops and the output node yes the output and uh, export no we have used the output node yes we have used these four nodes and created a stream over here again this is not an end in itself there are a lot many nodes that we have not discussed okay so uh, this is why we are having a different uh, set of nodes which are coming in just one single stream because that is how your learning will happen by explaining by simply explaining each of these nodes you will not understand it if you do not have any application perspective to that. 